One is based on fantasy, the other on a real life event. But both movies, they are about destiny. The man with the real opinion, Gino Reynolds, lets us know what he thought of Pan and the Walk. Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Today on The Real Opinion, we're going to be discussing two movies, both about destiny. One is about a boy discovering who he truly is in a magical land. The other is about a man who had a dream, a coup, a destiny to walk the distance between the Twin Towers. Here are a couple of quick reviews for two films that you may want to consider or not consider checking out. First up is Pan. This is one of the movies this year that I really wanted to surprise me. I wanted it to be better than the previews made it out to be. I'm sad to say that all my fears for this movie came true. Just like Maleficent, this is a prequel that nobody needed and or wanted. I'll try to keep this short, but I'm sure I'll fail miserably, like the movie. Hugh Jackman is the best part of the film, but only because Blackbeard is so out of character for him. I thought the movie was going to turn into Moulin Rouge when the pirates began singing Nirvana's Smells Like Teen Spirit. Mr. Smee was either Mr. Exposition or Mr. Annoying. Hook, and I kid you not, felt like a mix of Indiana Jones and Han Solo, but a version you'd hate. Plus, the you're gonna lose that hand foreshadowing was pretty annoying. Levi Miller as Pan was okay, but not great, mostly because he was an extremely depressing character. I'll always have kind of a crush on Rooney Mara, and she did the best she could, but she was miscast as Tiger Lily. You only get cameos from series favorites like Tinkerbell and TikTok Croc. The movie's biggest sin was taking not one, but two scenes from the 1993 Super Mario Brothers movie. Not the best inspiration for story ideas. You want a better live action Peter Pan? Watch Hook. You want a fantastical story set during wartime with Pan in the title? Watch Pan's Labyrinth. Or you could just, I don't know, watch Peter Pan. Next up is The Walk. I decided a long time ago that I would not go see 3D experiences unless I was forced to. This was mainly because I want to judge films on their content and performances, not extra bells and whistles. While I could see where watching this in 3D might have added to the dread of heights, I honestly don't feel that this movie really even needed it. Though a little slow and Joseph Gordon-Levitt's French accent gets a bit old after a while, this is still a very interesting movie with one heck of a third act. The quote-unquote walk portion of the film is, of course, the best part, and for people like me that don't really dig heights too much, it's pretty tense. The wire preparation stuff is kind of fun at times as well. I also like that this film was pretty much a love letter to the Twin Towers. I wasn't sure how they were going to handle the subject, but I felt they did a pretty good job. If you're going to go see this, check it out in theaters. In the case of this film, size matters. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Until next time.